And as you do your online shopping, you may notice the buy now, pay later option. That option helps you spread your payments over a few weeks, some interest free. But experts say it's becoming the most popular way to shop, but it's important to read the fine print. While Americans Black Friday and Cyber Monday spending hit record levels online, Adobe Analytics found consumers made a record amount of buy now, pay later installment purchases. You spread out your payments over time and retailers partner with different services to do that. And that's something that's compelling these days for shoppers because credit card interest rates are super high. Adobe Analytics said buy now, pay later purchases soared 43% over one year ago. Lisa Gill of Consumer Reports says it's important to know the terms of each third party servicer, including late fees. Read that little fine print about what you're getting into and make sure that there's no interest fee, there's no loan fee, and that there's understand what those late fees are all about. Research from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York found buy now, pay later plans disproportionately used by financially fragile consumers, including those with low credit scores or unmet credit needs. Gill says it's important to stay on top of what's owed since delinquencies can end up in collections and on credit reports. It's very easy once you start doing buy now, pay later on one purchase to do it on another and then on another and then on another. And we found that the more loans that people had taken out, the more likely they were going to have problems making payments or making payments on time. We just well, experts say for larger purchases like computers or televisions, using a credit card may give you better protection. That helps you just in case an item is lost, damaged, or needs to be returned.